Ha! I fooled your plan, Mr. Burns. Suck it! How's it going, everybody? It is Thunder here of HG Central, and welcome to part 8 of The Simpsons Hit and Run. Now that we got the uh, whole campaign and all that stuff done, in this part, I'm going to be starting off with the races that you, you come across in each level with each of the characters. Now, the way I'm going to do this is uh, there's three, four of them for each, three... Uh, races and then a four and like a betting race as like as like fourth one. I'm gonna set it up so that each part focuses on each of the races. So this part will be all of the race number ones. How do you know if it's race number one? Well, race number one is always hosted by Millhouse. Millhouse, you little wiener, what are you doing here? Patty and Selma won't give me a license to ride a bike without safety wheels unless I run the driving tests. So yeah, it's some pretty interesting stuff. Three, two, one. And yes, as you see, I chose Mr. Burns Lunmo for this because why not? So basically, anything with uh, Millhouse is basically time trials, and that's about it. You're given a set amount of time to uh, to get through a track for about five laps, and that's really all you have to do. This one is incredibly easy because it's just uh, right turn. It's basically like a circle, or a square almost, but if you're judging the shape of it like that, which I kinda am. But it's mostly pretty simple, even the regular family sedan could do this. I just thought I'd bring out the uh, limo, because why not? Because we do see it in in part one, as you've, if you've been watching this LP, it's just that now we can actually drive it for ourselves. And we got one last lap here. Around there, and one last checkpoint to go. Oh, wait, hang on. Now the last checkpoint to go. And done. This is so depressing. I'm going to feed your driver's license to Jub Jub. I'm so talented and good looking. So you get, so you basically will play told that you've done these amount of races completed in the uh, each level. So, anyways, that was for the first race number one for Homer. So let's go to the race number one for Bart. So here is the second one of the race number one with Bart. And to basically get find it, you have to go to the Krusty Burger here. I should have mentioned for the level one to get to the one with Homer, you just basically go around the area where. Uh, now I've already forgotten his name. Cletus, that's it. Anyways, let's let's get on to this one. Millhouse, what are you doing here? I thought you had a four o'clock wedgie with Nelson. I rescheduled. The DMV has us all doing these stupid races. This state should get some child labor laws. Well, glad to see you're living the life at least, Millhouse. So I don't have much I can say to you about that. Okay, so this one's only three laps, and you actually do have a shorter amount of time. And it's a little more technical, but it's still laughably easy. <laughs> well, especially now that I've gotten the Globex car, the super villain car, which is incredibly quick. And very agile. And I actually hadn't realized this until I was uh, watching some speedrun videos, but apparently it's actually just faster to go around corners by using the handbrake in this game. You, you 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 turn a lot more sharper and can uh, get through them with a lot more speed, as I'm showing you right now. Had I known this, I probably would have been doing that for much of me playing this game when I was younger, but never knew this until recently, which is quite upsetting, but oh well. Doesn't matter that much, does it? Now does it? <laughs> that was a weird bounce. And done. Good work, Bart. Next time you stay at our place, you can have the steamed vegetable of your choice. <laughs> well then, that's a wonderful choice there. Anyways, next up, it's time to do race number one with Lisa. So now, for the third race for of race number one w at level three with Lisa, it's basically to find Mailhouse is incredibly easy. He's always going to be right next to where Gil is, where you can purchase the vehicles for that particular level, which is pretty much by the docks right by the boat here, at the uh, squid port sign. So that should be a very good clue. Millhouse, are you working here? That's not so bad. I get a green cookie on St. Patrick's Day. It comes out of my paycheck. 
Well, glad to see you're uh, still living a life, Milhouse, except it kind of sucks to hear you get those cookies taken out of your paycheck, which is pretty dumb. And hey, you jumped to start. You're supposed to say one. This is not a cinema, not a movie theater. Uh. You said it earlier. Get your act together. Ah, uh, who, kno who knows sometimes. We gotta take the big ramp here. And we just go around there, and that's the lap. It's pretty simple. And thought I used a hover car because why not drive a car that make goes invisible after a while, except for the little electro field behind it there. That doesn't matter though. Oh. Um. Okay, that just happened. But it's okay. We still got plenty of time here. Uh, this one's okay. I'd say the first one is decently s simple, but you know, you get gets the job done. Second one is actually pretty good. This one's all right, but you can tell the layout style was not the greatest. And crap, I gotta go around because I blew it. Yeah, that's at least a good thing with this one. If you don't get that right, you can just come around and do this, but you do lose time. Which shit doesn't it gonna matter too much because well I have enough time to do one more lap here. So and this car smoking. Hooray. Yep, straightened up. And done. Atta girl, Lisa. This'll be noted on your permanent record. Easy as pie. The number that is. So why will it be noted on my personal record? You get to go, f you get to go flying because of it. <laughs> Anyways, forget about that. It's time to go to the next one with Marge. Okay, so the one for Marge is just outside the mansion here, right by the little fu funeral area, I guess, for where Burns would be placed. I don't remember anymore. I've lost all sense of mind. Go to... Hey, hey, oh, I screwed that up. Go to... No go to space. No, go to space. Oh, God, oh, fuck you. So, let, let, for, forget about space. Let's just do the race. Hello, Millhouse. What are you doing here? Patty and Selma trapped me in debt slavery, so I'm doing their job for them now. Well, I'm sure it's building character. You have to win these races and you'll get yourself a new car or something. I don't know. I'm so tired. Sounds like fun. Hang in there. <laughs> the car fumes are making me dizzy. Whoa. Oh. Just do it. Three, two, <coughs> one. Ugh. Well, he pers he's, he persuaded at the end, but well, it took a beating on him because of the car fumes. What? Is this charger really that bad on fumes or something? It has to be if that's the case. Whoa. So yeah, this one's personally one of my more favorite levels because it's quite it's qu quite varied on where you go and all those things and whatnot. Plus, you get a big, nice jump there. Who wouldn't like some jumps in a race? I would. And that's the lap. So you just gotta do that two more times. Okay, get around there. And up and over. And fling down. There's a wrench there, but I went too fast to pick it up. Not that I'm gonna need it right now, at least. Do the quick handbrake to the, quick to the corner there. Way up high. That is quite the lift off indeed, Snake. And one more lap to go. I've got plenty of time to do it. And just to prove that there is a wrench there. There you go. Just wanted to show that there was indeed a wrench there and that I'm not going clinically insane. I don't need I don't belong in a mental asylum. Anyways, just gotta go through the toxic waste pits here. 
And then one more jump that actually screwed it up. <laughs> that was sloppy, but it doesn't matter. Got the job done. Oh, God. And we come across now. I wish I could be happy for your success, but I can't. Mark in charge. Wow, rude. 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 I'll put, well, I'll knocked both of them down. But she gets one too. And you get one again. <sighs> you too. Anyways, next up, we gotta go to level 5 with Apu. Alright, now we're with Apu for the 5th level, and here's the mill house yet again. How do you know where to find it? It's pretty much just over to the right here of where the car wash is. And that car is taking me on a sudden ride for some weird reason. No, Quimpy, I see you over there. Hello, little customer. Are you here to help me in some fashion? Your nachos have hair in them. The hair is your protein. Okay. Well, you have to race now. I wouldn't say that's actually the case. But whatever. Oh, you're not going to say go now. You're just going to say drive. It's actually a really good drive. It's actually a phenomenal movie. It's really, really good. Not exactly what you think it may be by the title, but it's still very good. And just to kind of really show off how easy these are, I brought out the comic book guy, or Jabba the Fat, or whatever the one that, uh, whatever that one that Homer called him again was, because I don't remember. But it doesn't matter. Just, just basically just want to show how easy these are. So easy a Kremlin could do it. That should be this. That should be a bumper sticker on comic book guy's car. I have actually have no idea what they say. I'm never actually bothered to look because I can't be bothered. All that really matters, I guess. All right, let's get around here. And we have one more lap to go. We have 17 seconds. Do you think you can do it? I just gotta believe. Alright. Come on. Around the corner and gone! Okay, Dapu, you've qualified for your license. Big deal. You still work at a convenience store. Oh, I feel like a Brahmin. At least it got a good job. Well, good to him at least, because people come in. He still deserve that. Like how he just kind of does like an an elbow drop. Anyways, it's time to go back to Bart. Okay, now for the second ra race number one involving Bart to find Millhouse. It's basically just on the other side of like the casino entrance. Here he's over here, basically. Hey, hey, Millhouse, I got a secret to tell you. There's your secret. Millhouse, still working for the man, I see. I've decided to buckle under and accept it. The money I earn goes towards my dad's child support payments. Oh boy. Three, two, <laughs> That's a thing. And now he's going back to the way he said it before. Man, this guy, sometimes he just doesn't know how to make up his mind. Why are you friends with him, Bart? Why? Ah, uh, I guess you feel sorry for him. So this one's actually interesting. It's only two laps. You only do it twice. It's definitely the longest one so far, because... Look at this. Big jump! Big jump. And we gotta go around here. And yes, we cannot take the shortcut. They blocked it off. So we gotta take the extra longer way around. And yes, it requires you go down here. Because why not? So uh, this is actually the one direct, uh, the one race where you you pretty much can always pick up a wrench without having to slow down or anything. And there we go. We got a minute left to do one more lap. I just bring out the uh, Homer 70 sports car because it's since Bart's, we now know Bart's not going to college because he didn't sell this car. Might as well take it out for a joyride. Because joyrides are pretty sweet. Big jump. 
again. Oh, and a weird landing. Because I didn't get enough speed, I guess. Maybe? And around there. Get up. And through there. Oh boy, that's a little overshot it, but it's okay. Nothing really to worry about. Wrench there. And now I got 10 seconds left. But I know we can make it. In fact, we are going. That was just barely a pass. Even under our low standards, Bart. Good enough for me. <laughs> All right, that was so. Don't cool. think Bart cares that much, guys. Do you understand what you're doing to this life? <laughs> well, they bites. I sent all of them up and knocked over a pole lamp. Jesus, Bart, I think you must be the next one. You are the successor to Neo. Anyways, one last one. Back to Homer again. Okay, so the last one here is a little different. We're not being introduced by Mr. Melhouse. We're in being introduced to a zombie who you can see pretty much what's supposed to be his brain there. Hey, zombie! See if you're working at the DMV now? Brains! Thank you. I do have nice brains. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's a nice compliment, I guess, to give him. Alright, so there's one very annoying thing about this level. You're, you're basically required to take the jump, which doesn't sound like a big deal on paper, but... The problem is, is that, you know, with some certain vehicles, including this one, it's Just possible they can get there, stuck. Homer. And yes, I went through that sign. Don't question it. Oh, I, I, I blew up a gas station. Maybe hey, yeah, this is this is the only other one that's five laps. So Homer gets the five lappers. He gets the shortest ones. And unfortunately, this car has such low durability that. It can't really take much abuse. Especially it doesn't help when I can't keep running into that to that corner there because of the amount of speed I'm getting. And one more around. And pretty much just like that. Oh, that was too easy. Yeah, that brains, okay. Hey. How, how much do you really like brains? Oh. You didn't do anything. Okay, you did at least something. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, so that's that was all the race number ones that are in the game. Now, if you tay if you tay 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 if you come back for part number nine, we're gonna look at all the race number twos. So stay tuned for that guys and thank you for watching on YouTube and ergaming1.com.